Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to The X-Files, Season 1, Episode 24, The Finale. Ooh, I'm excited to see if this they're going to end the season with something that's kind of more... Like, I don't, I don't quite know what I'm expecting or like what I want, but something that kind of leaves it where it's connected to something in the past of the season. Most likely the, um... His guy that's in the government that, like, Mulder talks to. And something that will leave us wanting more for season two. Some kind of thing. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I, I don't know what I, I... I can't quite describe what, I, what I'm what i hoping and thinking will happen. But when it happens, I'll let you know. If it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching. Before we get into this stuff, please don't forget to go to Patreon right now. Link down below in the description. Go to patreon.com slash smallscreenreactions. Right now, you can go there and watch the beginning of season two right now. If you go to Patreon right now, if you're watching this on YouTube and it just premiered, then on Patreon, we're a couple episodes into season two already, so go check it out, okay? And other than that, you can also get Patreon-exclusive shows like Broadchurch, Attack on Titan, um, Battlestar Galactica, um, Parks and Recreation, shows like that and others that are only going to be on Patreon and not on YouTube at all. So go check it out, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Um, and yeah, without further ado, here we go. Whoa. What the? What the? We're going right away in the beginning. Where are we? Who is this? What is happening? Yeah, can hit a dead end, dude. Where do you plan on going? To the water? You gonna ram into the police? Oh, boy, you're gonna run for some reason? The running on foot is much better, yeah. Oh, God. Wait, why? He's not giving up. Oh god. This guy is really not giving up. He is fighting back. How are you police officers letting this guy just take your baton and destroy you? What? How did that not... This guy an alien. Oh, oh. That didn't seem to do anything. Where the hell did he go? He'd be bleeding bad. Oh, bleeding green. Oh. He's an alien. But, but that is a very light lava. Sir. That's exactly what stumped me, because inside there must be something, the weight of the heaviest rock in existence. 1994. Still not born at this point. A rock from Iceland. Mulder. Are you watching Channel 8? Mm -hmm. During an intense. Mulder, you've been through this tape a hundred yeah. times. What about it? What exactly are you hoping to find? Uh, yeah, uh, I, don't, I didn't say anything. And all he told you was to watch Channel 8? Who are yeah, these guys? Government? The suspect was being chased? As far as I can tell, he wouldn't pull over for a moving violation. Really? That's that it? ought to put him on the 10 most wanted list. <laughs> How do you know he's not just yanking your chain, this deep throat character? Mm -hmm. Why would he do that? Well, he has lied to you by his own admission. He has, yeah. Well, if there wasn't something here, Are you something sure? I'm supposed to see, something he wants me to see. I do. Yeah, it's gotta be something. Then it's an alien. It's bleeding green. Hunting a man on a moving violation? Well, I know it's not Silence of the Lambs, but it's what we do. The man in the photograph doesn't. Well, have... Silence of the Lambs. He's not one of yours? No, sir. But like I said, it was a zoo over. So who was it? said the suspect was shot. We're quite certain it will be found. It's been almost 18 hours, Captain. Where could the body be? Yeah. There are cables and debris all over the bottom. It's a painstaking business. Mm, no, he's alive. The suspect matches the description of a federal fugitive. Really? How's that? No description of the suspect been released. Mm, Mulder, come on. If you don't mind, you can do better than that. Car, please. I'm taking the impound. <clears throat> really? You just put him to impound? Hey, Scully, look at this. 
Pick a license plate. Look at the windshield. Oh. It's not the same car. No, it's not. It's called the Caduceus. It's sort of the adopted. Did the government take the car and place well, it? Probably only a doctor would have that on his car. Oh. I had the pick. Yeah, I'll hold. They switched cars on a Scully and they lied about it. Yeah. Why would they do that? Maybe the uh, real owner of the car's got something on Oh, uh, are those chimps in there? Polo chimps? Yeah. Wait a minute every time. I'm actually very busy. I'm sorry. Are you aware that a car... Right, he's looking really good right now. The hair is looking house. nice. Of the suit as always. Were you aware that it was even missing? Not until he mentioned it. I have a housekeeper and she often uses the car. It's a second car. Mm. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, never mind. I, I was literally about to say how cute. They're friendly. It's part of an experiment. What kind of experiment? Am I under some kind of suspicion? You're doing to the little monkey. Then I think I've answered all your questions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have more work. Rude, rude man. About the car while we're out here. No. No? What do you mean, no? Oh. I mean, this has reached the point of absurdity, Mulder. Are you we're sure? We're out here on half a hunch off of a cryptic phone call well, chasing down... we do know there's two different cars, so... Speculation. Not really speculation. It's fact. Than us. Who is this deep throat character? I mean, Ooh. we don't know anything about him. What Scully his name is, is done what he this. does. He's in a he delicate in. position. He Asian and indiscretion could expose him. You don't know that this isn't just a game with him. He's toying with you. It, she's got fair points. He gets off on it? No. Mm. I think he does it because you do. Ooh. Oh my. Calling it a night, Mr. Mulder? My you. mother usually likes me. Surprised that you have won. Your level of commitment seems to have diminished. My level of Well, because you lied that one time, it kind of hung on to. I trying to put the pieces together. Well, maybe if you give me something more to work with. Yeah. Under the circumstances. Give a little crumb and you want me to make a pie? Very far. <laughs> and maybe further than you realize. You know, from day one, this has always been on your terms. Yeah. I've gone along. Been the dutiful he's been he's done with this too now we can just cut out the obi-wan kenobi crap and you can save me the trouble right I just speak a little on me. let me tell you something i've got plenty to do without chasing down your vague leads or trying to decode your circular amen robbery. maybe it's you who's become too dependent on me Ooh. on my willingness to play your games yeah molder don't give up on this one trust me you've never been closer closer to what yeah he really wants him to do this one. That was weird. Is this something to do with his sister? Does this guy ever go home? Hello? Ooh, who's Hello? this? Is that the guy that was at the crime scene? Yeah. Can I talk to her? What do you want here? And why are you in the dog? She's sitting in the dog. I don't like this. Sitting in the... Mm. He's alive, isn't he? Has he contacted you? Please. How is he connected to the green bleeding guy? You're going to have to leave. Oh, oh you're, you're dead. From the FBI. I have nothing to say to them. I have nothing to say to you. Where's Dr. Secure? Dr. Secure. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm afraid your work is done. Oh. Oh, my. oh. oh he dead. I don't think they're gonna be finding the body. What's about to happen? Oh, is he still down there? Just like breathing, hanging out? So creepy. You just hang out this whole time. You didn't decide to like swim off somewhere. How did they not see him? So sorry, but these cops suck. Yeah, they think that for whatever reason he trashed his lab and then killed himself. Oh. Well, yeah, that's what happens. You trash your lab, then kill yourself. The man we met yesterday kept this place like he was waiting for the people from Good Housekeeping to show up. <laughs> 
I would never peg him as someone to do all this. Yeah. Or Greg will gain us out the window. I know, that gauze is troubling. It's a bit too calculated. And how could that gauze hold a man? Almost as if someone wanted to make doubly sure he'd break his neck before he hit the ground. Hmm. What else do we know? Harvard Med, 1974. He was working on the Human Genome Project. Are you familiar with that? Yeah, the mapping of all human yeah. genes. What Maybe about it, though? Amnesty of mankind. Right, but there's nothing extraordinary about that. I mean, yeah. There's thousands of scientists working on that project. The thing yeah, but only one who owned a Sarah and went bungee jumping with medical gauze wrapped around his neck. I'm mm. sorry, Mulder. I'm seeing the pieces, but I'm not seeing the connections. Same. Well, maybe that's just it. Maybe we're not seeing Purity control? Terrence Allen Baruby. Okay, Mulder. But I'm warning you. If this is monkey pee, <laughs> on your own. <laughs> Honestly, fair. Totally fair. Yeah, that guy seems like he was at the lab all the time, never home. Do you want to knock on the door in case he had a family or something? But I guess they're not getting the mail either, so. So no one's home, it seems like. He lives in a nice big house, though, to be living by himself. We've come a long way from Colonel Mustard in the den with the rope, haven't we? <laughs> no, I'm expecting it'll turn out to be nothing. Or... No. No, you've it? definitely got something here. Wow. What is it? Look at this. What are it's they? the green guy's blood or something. We could do a freeze fracture. Take a thin slice off and see what's going on inside these babies. Let's do it. Waiting. No, no, I'll wait. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Is he calling all the time? All right, thanks, Danny. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Someone's coming to clean up or something? Look behind you, man. Look behind you. Mulder. Shit. Terry, is that you? Oh, yeah. it's the guy. Who's this? Water Where are you now? I'm gonna pay phone. I'm oh. gonna pick you up. Where are you? Terry. Oh, God. Hello? Oh, he's bleeding okay? now. I think he needs medical attention. What's the street? Pain? What's the street? I'm gonna call an ambulance. Sir? So, some hospital somewhere. I got it. Hi, Danny. Let me get the address. Alright, you ready? Yeah, notice that. Notice and... I'm just writing it down there. Go ahead. Right, the number belongs to a company called Zeus Storage. 16. Yeah. Ooh, storage unit? Alright, thanks. I don't know how much the hospital's going to be able to help him. Attention. He also has what appears to be a green fluid coming from a wound in his right upper quadrant. I don't know what the hell that is. Is it responding to Don't touch it with your skin. Put gloves on. Just. Okay, I'm gonna need a cannula. We're gonna do a needle decompression. Again, gloves on. Why is he just. You need gloves. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm guessing his insides are not good for humans. Oh, no. That was. Real. And now he's running. I don't know. Where are you? I'm at the Georgetown Microbiology Department. What I've got do you find? something for you. Smaller than a silver Sierra? <laughs> Much. And it's not silver, it's green. Ah. Uh... They also contain something that looks like chloroplasts. Plant cells, but they, they've never seen anything you like it here. Using plants? Any idea what he could have been doing with them? Well... To do what? To inject it into something living. It's called gene therapy, and it's still highly experimental. So doing gene therapy on this one guy with plant cells? Bacteria like this, it may have existed, but not for millions of years. Oh. Not since before our ancestors first crawled out of the sea. Oh. Ancient, ancient, old, old. Are you there, Mulder? Stuff. Mulder. 
<laughs> yeah. Just gotta keep up the good work. That's it. Tell her where you, where you are, just in case, you know. This is where you did his secret lab work. I don't like this music and the way things... I don't know if things bad's about to happen. What? What? Oh. Oh my, the people. Oh god, there's many, many people. This is giving me very Kyle XY vibes. Are they all the same person? Clones? Is he cloning people? And embedding them with special DNA that makes them like stronger, faster, smarter kind of thing. Also very Kyle XY. And that's the one that escaped, the one that's empty. Oh, he's moving. Oh my. We need all the scientists here right now. Dana, look at we we get. Yeah, I think those are genes. Right. They're called base pairs. Okay. Each pair is made up of something called a nucleotide. Only four I'm not a science person. This is right over my head. Miracle of design that we have yet to fathom. Every living thing is created out of these four basic building blocks. Okay. What do I look? But with these bacteria, we do. Why is that? I don't know why. There's but gaps you, in this DNA. Answers. My first call would have been to the government. What exactly did you find? Yeah. A fifth and sixth DNA nucleotide. Oh. Agent Scully, what you are looking at, it exists nowhere in nature. Like an evolution? By definition, extraterrestrial. Oh. 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 Love that. Love that. Use that word more often. Be careful, man. Take out your gun or something. I don't trust what's going on. Mm, yep, it's that van again. Nope. Take your gun out now. Mulder is too laissez-faire about all of this. Take your gun out. Oh, run at least. Do something. Yeah, come on. Nice. Ninja over here. That giant trench coat. Should be weighing him down, but he's going pretty fast. Now you take your gun out when there's no one there. But now, you, this is why you tell people where you are and you have some backup with you. Like, Dana. That's the reason why it's Mulder and Scully, not just Mulder. We're a team here. That bacteria I had analyzed. They're saying that it doesn't exist in nature. Yeah. They're saying that it could be extraterrestrial. Did this scientist guy do so science experiments, what? experiments on an alien and try to duplicate it? There's something I gotta show you. Clone it? It's gonna be empty now, right? That truck clearly took everything. Like, come on, Mulder. You have you have to know this. I just wanna say that I was wrong. Oh, that's all right. Don't it's worry. good when you can admit you're wrong. Oh, um, she saw the science. That's what. To me, we wouldn't be here right now. Well, true. I should know by now to trust your instincts. Honestly, well, most of the time, yeah, I would. You know, I've always held science as sacred. I've I've always put my. And now you saw that science is extraterrestrial of science of it. So. And what I saw last night. For the first time in my life, I don't know what to believe. Ooh. Whatever it is you do believe. When you walk into that room, nothing sacred will hold. It's annoying because I, we, you, you should know it's gone. The truck came to the place. They did not. The van went there. They, the van did not follow you. So, and it's been hours. What do you think the van did? 
Just went inside, saw her, and walked away. Dude. There were tanks here. They were alive, Scully. Underwater. What happened to them? God only knows. Oh. Most likely they've been Ooh. destroyed. She gets the meat deep throat now. There were three men last night. I was chased. Mm. If you were chased, you would have been killed. Those men are trained for that sort of business, and they are trained well. True. Were well, those the same men who... Why? Why? Good Lord. You work so hard, and you still don't see it. I don't either. Conducting human experiments with extraterrestrial viruses. Yes. Oh, okay. That's been going on for years. We've had the tissue since 1947. Wow. Huh? Roswell was a smokescreen. We've had a half a dozen oh. better salvage operations. Ooh. Dr. Garuba was killed because his work was too successful. Oh, he was doing too well? It was the first DNA transplant took. The first human-alien hybrid was created. Oh. Six volunteer patients, all terminally ill. One, Dr. William Sakai, an old yep, friend of Dr. Garuba's, was dying of melanin. As normal as possible for a man who has developed inhuman strength and the ability to breathe underwater. Yep, That's how he was days. able to elude capture. Oh, gee, the science. To have a hybrid living out in the real world? They didn't want the actual thing, just the science to know they what could do it. To... I don't believe that from the government. There's just one thing I don't understand. Why you gave us so little to go on in the beginning? Yeah. And why are you giving us so much now? Right? You could have just done this in the beginning. And that's systematically destroying all the evidence. Uh, Dr. Barova, the body's here. Why do you want them to find it, though? Yes. Who would believe the story I just told you? you Why do you want the story out? And you must find Dr. Sakari before they do. I'll have no further contact with you on this matter. What? Why do you want this though? What does this have to do with you? That's what I want to know. And get all the lab work. I'm gonna find Dr. Sakari. Where? I don't know. I'm gonna trust my instincts. Okay, sure. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dr. Ann Carpenter. I've been unable to reach her by phone and she's not her own. Oh no, is she gone? She was in a terrible car accident. Her whole accident. Family. And Dr. Whole family. Is, um, dead. They're cleaning it up. You guys may be next. You guys may know too much already. I don't know why you and Scully had to keep splitting up. You guys need to be together for this. Oh, he's up in the attic. Why don't you speak first before he attacks or something? Say hi, I mean no harm. Oh god. You should have said more. I'm not here to harm you. Here to help. Why do you wait till you get thrown around to say sit? Shit, like say it before you climb in. I'll protect you. Oh. Fuck. Oh, it's already hurting him. Oh shit. It's like blood hitting. The oxygen is not good. Oh no. Oh no. Shit, he's really not. Oh no. This is not good. He's not looking good. Oh god. Your cellular phone's been ringing off the hook. I'm a popular guy. Mm hmm. What, Oh, he looks awful. I have this thing about unsecured lines. I'm sure you do. When you feel like talking. Be careful, Scully. Wait, no, he's not there in his place. He's oh. not home. Where you is just he? pop it. I think we weren't going to see you again. I wish I knew. Something's happened to him. Yeah. They won't kill him. How do you Why know won't that? they? He's become too high profile. And really? you've got evidence that could expose them. I don't True. have any evidence. They took the evidence. Oh, and they may have killed in order to get it. Maybe you have more than you realize? With your medical background, I might be able to get you inside. Inside what? where? I can tell you Fort Marlene, Maryland. What do what? they have there? Yeah. The wellspring, Miss Scully. What? The original tissue. Oh. 
Mulder, they might be willing to make a deal. It could save his life. So steal from them so they will trade with you? We gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta save Mulder. That's goal number one. Okay. We got this. Okay, looking so far. Just gotta grab it now, somehow, and put it in something in your bag, I guess. Oh god. And then get out. Uh oh. Name? Who is this? Dana Scully, federal government. Project password? Oh. You got this, you got this, don't panic, don't panic. Project password? You got this. I don't... Purity control. Oh. Scully, you good. You good. You just pop that in your head. That was a smart move. I, I literally couldn't think of what it could be. I forgot about purity control. Purity control. What's in all those other ones then? Anything crazier than this stuff? What is it exactly? <gasps> oh my god, it's a baby alien. Holy shit. This is getting wild. You believe now? Good. They're willing to make the exchange. You spoke to them? Yes. This feels off. What if he's working with them? I'll make the exchange. Because he wanted this. I made the deal, Scully. They're expecting me. Why would they expect him and call him, though? Someone else to trust. I don't know who you are. I know nothing about you. Oh, I'm with her on this. Up. Let me tell you something you should know. In 1987, a group of children from a southern state what? were given what their parents did. What they were injected with was a clone DNA from the contents oh. of that package you're holding as oh. a test. That's the kind of people you're dealing with. So why give it back to them? Yeah. To save Mulder's life. At the risk of so many other lives? Yeah, Mulder wouldn't want that. When Mulder are the only ones who can bring it to light. Now give me the Um, he's way too desperate for this. I do not trust him or the, this at all right now. Oh, they're here right now. Interesting. I thought you had something. Give me the parcel, Scully. She still wants to say Mulder, though. She likes Mulder. She cares about him at least a lot. I ship them totally, though. She's like, what have I gotten myself into? What is all of this? The world has hit the fan. Everything she believed in is upside down. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, they at least let Mulder go, but shit, they killed him. Honestly, I was not expecting that. I thought he was with them. Trust. No one. Trust. No one. Yeah. Saw that coming. <laughs> so our little inside man here is now dead. That's not good. So we have no connection, no help at all in case trouble or anything. Mulder is down right now. Hopefully he'll heal. Thirteen days. Wow. Okay. Having some nightmares. Wow. 
What what time are you? Where are you? They're shutting us down, Scully. What? No. And they said they're going to reassign us to other sections. <gasps> no, we can't close the X-Files. We still have like 10 more seasons of this show. He said word came down from the top of the executive branch. Mulder. What? It's over, Scully. Well, you have to lodge a protest. They can't. Yes, they can. What are you going to do? Um. I'm. That the X-Files, who is Mulder? I'm going to give up. I can't. You can. Not as long as the truth is out there. Mm. The truth is out there. This man. How many do they have of these? There's a lot of evidence there. It's a whole lot. the pentagon now that's gonna be hard to get to well damn well damn you guys well that was a finale now that's kind of what i wanted i want some of the deep throat action that sounded bad i i in the middle of saying it i knew it was bad but i couldn't stop it but yes we got deep throat and he came back to give the vaguest of hints, as always, only to come back and give all the info, as always, and then to say he's not going to be seeing seen them again, and then comes back five minutes later. Not the best at deep throating. Oh my god, I said it in literally in the middle of saying it too, and I... Let's move on. But yeah, this was about a scientist... Who was doing work for the government and high up government doing work where trying to m do the science of making using alien DNA a found little baby alien using the DNA from that in and uh, gene splicing or whatever or gene therapy to m make a hybrid human alien hybrid which they didn't make which was this guy who could breathe underwater for three days and bled green, which was toxic to humans, and dangerous to them, and, yeah. And there was multiple other bodies, he hybrids, and there were many, many other little baby aliens. So he clearly was doing work, and government did not want him making them, so he they were cleaning it up and shutting him down, and shutting up anyone who knew about it, including the poor... Like, scientist lady who freaking, got, her and her whole family got killed? Like, what the fuck? I hope that's more of a lie and it's just like, they took her away and changed her identity and put her somewhere else and was like, you can't talk. Because if they killed an, her and her whole family? Insane. Psychos. And they killed freaking, um, after kidnapping, um, Mulder and after Scully has to steal the baby alien to make a trade, they freaking kill, um... I don't even know his name. But, like, Deep Throat Guy. They kill him. Shoot him. Dead. And he says, trust no one, obviously. And now, and then we learn, X-Files. They're closed. They're shut down. Scully, Mulder, they're not working together anymore. They're going to be put in different places doing something else. Are they going to work? Is the whole thing going to be them having their new jobs, but then having to work outside of work? Like, separate? Like on their own time to work on cases or how the cases they get connect to something i don't know or maybe they'll find a way to bring the x-files back but they have no one on their side high up in the government like they did before that's why no one to protect them so the x-files are shut down so unless they make a new friend i don't know but now scully believes she's seen shit she literally was holding on to a baby alien it's hard not to believe after that <laughs> Uh, I'm so intrigued to see what season two will come about, if it's going to be similar to this season, where it's mostly weekly episodes and new stuff with little snippets of a full story. 
I'm intrigued. I'm very excited. I really loved season one. This was a great introduction with the characters, the world, the government, and conspiracy theories, and all the different types of things we saw, extraterrestrial or not. And, yeah, I'm excited to see what's going to happen in season two, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed my reactions. Don't forget to go check out Patreon, and you can go start season two right now. And also, check out Patreon exclusive shows. Yeah. Okay, I hope you all are having a fantastic, fantastic, excellent, amazing, amazing day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.